all right welcome to a brand new career mode on this channel we are going to be using stoke city in the poll that we did it was between arsenal everton aston villa la liga and a efl championship team and you guys voted for an efl championship team stoke city was suggested by multiple people in the comments so that is the team that i chose and that is the team that we will be doing our next career mode with now this is a big change from our recent southampton career mode i mean our team with southampton was very good in stoke city i mean could be worse but they're not exactly a top tier championship side this season they finished 15th so they weren't in the relegation zone but weren't in the top 10 so it could be worse could be better but we are going to try to do better this season but a big issue is that we only have 11 million in our transfer budget and if we slide the wage budget over that deteriorates our transfer budget pretty quick but we are not going to have a lot of money and another bad thing about this team is that there is a lot of old players old players that just are not worth a lot of money so raising funds is going to be an issue for us as you can see a lot of players worth three two one million and with Pfeiffer's Rosa mod that we're still using and how it makes players values a lot higher that's gonna make it very hard for us to sign some players to help this team but that is what this type of career mode is I wouldn't say it's a true road to glory like a league one or league two side but this team needs a big rebuild if we want to make it to the Premier League so they want us to sign a crucial forward they want to finish the season with a profit margin of 80 million that's a lot so they want us to fight for promotion and reach the round of 32 stage in the FA Cup. I have no idea what to expect from this season because we are going to be playing on ultimate like we have done same sliders as our Southampton series. I would like for us to get into those automatic promotion spots this season, but I'm not sure if we are at that level yet. I think a realistic goal would be to finish in a playoff spot, but yeah, I do not know what to expect. But first off, definitely I'm going to need transfer suggestions. But you guys got to keep in mind that we only have 11 million to work with. And then on top of that, Pfeiffer's Rosa mod makes the values a lot more realistic. Players are harder to sign. But first off, let's take a look at the squad that we have. So goalkeeping, we have Jack Butland. He's pretty much our highest rated player, I believe. At left back, we have Steven Ward, Morgan Fox, who was with Sheffield Wednesday, but he signed for Stoke in real life, so I put him on Stoke for starting this career mode. But left back is definitely a weak position. So in terms of center back, we have Kevin Wimmer. He's on loan. Pretty sure that's not how you pronounce his last name, but maybe it is. But he's 26, 72 rated. I might recall him because, I mean, other than that, we it is not looking great. We have Shawcross, who's been at Stoke for a while, I believe. Also, Bruno Martins Indy, James Chester, who is on loan at Stoke from Aston Villa, but I believe he signed on a permanent deal recently for Stoke. Yeah, for center back, I'm thinking Chester and Wimmer being my starters and then Shawcross and Indy being backup. At right back, we have Tommy Smith, 27, 71 overall. It's not terrible. We also have Bauer on loan at Celtic. Should I recall him? Also like Ryan Woods, should I just recall these players? I'm not sure if I should keep them on loan or recall them. I mean, he's at Millwall, so he's in the championship still. Maybe recalling him would make sense. But I mean, other than that, Oakley Booth is a decent player. He starts out really low. He has a decent potential, I think, but 63 rated is not great. Joe Allen, former Liverpool player. Sam Klukas, is that how you say his last name? 28, 73. There's just a lot of players in their very late 20s that are like low 70 overall, and I don't think they're going to grow that much. Nick Powell looks decent, probably will use him a lot this season. McLean on the left, Tom Ince on the right, Sam Vokes up top, Tyrese Campbell, who I know he has a decent potential, I believe. But I mean, other than that, you can very much tell that this team needs a very, very big rebuild. All right, so I am going to recall Wimmer, and then I'm also going to recall Woods from Millwall. Also, if I should recall Ndaye, is that how you pronounce his name? and Etibo, and I'm going into this blind. I have no idea how to pronounce these players' names, so if I get them wrong, I apologize. I will learn how to pronounce them, but definitely let me know if I should recall these players. 7.5 million, actually. Etibo, it's not a bad value. Both midfielders, 
probably would help us a decent amount in the midfield but you guys will have to let me know about that all right so it looks like this is my best starting 11 they play a 4-3-3 by default so i am interested in trying that out to begin with it's usually what i play anyways i think this is the best midfield we have our best front three we are very very weak in terms of forwards and wingers midfielders we're okay especially if we recall those two guys on loan we have but up front, we are definitely in need of some reinforcements. So this is the short list that I have so far. Hoover, Godfrey, Vandenberg, is a Keeper, Byram, Tribal Ibe, Gilmore, Jones, Willick, Nelson, Solanke, Gray. So a lot of young players probably going to look to bring some of these players in on loan. But we only have 11 million. That makes transfers very, very hard in this first window. But yeah, you guys are going to have to... Help me with some suggestions. Keep it in mind that we only have 11 million to work with. All right, so we're in a preseason competition. Hopefully we can earn a little bit more money through this competition. So I'm gonna sim through it and see how much money we can make. All right, so we get a transfer offer for Bruno Martins Indy. Pretty sure he's our fourth choice center back. And it's for 1.3 million. We might try and negotiate this and see if we can get a little bit more because we are in desperate need for some money. All right, let's try 1.85. See what they say to that. 1.4. I mean, he's not going to go up more. He's 27. I think letting him go would be our best option. See if we can get a little bit more than his value. And Darby agreed to that. So 1.5 for Bruno Martins Indy if he accepts that. All right, so we've actually made it all the way to the final of the preseason tournament. Made, I think, 1.5 million so far. Let's see what we can do in the final. So we are going to skip it. We lose 1-0. That is unfortunate. But we made a couple million still from this preseason tournament. I mean, at this point, anything will help. Get a transfer offer for Joe Allen, but I'm not going to sell him. Pretty much our only really true CDM at the moment. So Bruno Martins Indy has been sold to Darby for 1.5. So that's another million to our transfer budget. So 13, basically 11 to 13 million. In our transfer budget that is that is abysmal what can we do with that honestly all right so this is an interesting offer tom edwards Sheffield wednesday are coming in for 2.5 million so who else do we have at right back we have edwards smith and bauer basically i mean tom edwards is only 20 years old so you could have a little bit of potential on him but i mean if we if we recall bauer that means edwards would be third choice it might make sense sell him all right so if i can get a good deal in this i will sell him see if we can get a little bit more from sheffield wednesday so his value is 2.8 let's try let's try three four it's kind of a high balling offer but three four yeah i thought they wouldn't go for that let's try try straight three three million 2.9 that's that's pretty good actually 2.9 throw in an extra 50k throw in an extra 50k so 2.95 Edwards might be going to Sheffield Wednesday. So if he gets sold, I'm definitely recalling Bauer. All right, so Edwards is sold. That is 2.1 added to our transfer budget. So now we are sitting at 15 million. That is looking a little better. How much is it to recall Bauer though? Let's see. How much is it? 62k. That is nothing. He were going to recall him. So he's actually our highest rated right back now. Does that mean we should put him in the starting 11? I mean, he's got 82 pace. So I think he is going to start for us. All right. So we definitely need another winger to replace Ngoy on the bench. Campbell is pretty good. I want to use him. Youth, I mean, he's 31, but he doesn't look that bad as a bench player. I think definitely a winger in the low 70s would help us a lot. Even a new striker, even a new striker over Vokes would be very good as who is that Bauer that is stuck on the right side of the screen. All right, so Hoover would be only 420,000, but he's only 62 rated. Godfrey would be 8 million. That is way, way too much for us. Tribal would be 3 million, but I think we're good on midfielders, especially if we recall those two out on loan. Jordan Ibe could be interesting. I mean, 5 million for Jordan Ibe is still a lot. That is half of our budget on Jordan Ibe, so I'm not sure about that. Billy Gilmore, I mean, he's quite a popular option in career mode. But he is worth 2 million, only 66 rated. Curtis Jones could be an interesting player to bring in on loan. Same with Willick and Nelson. 
probably too expensive to buy, but maybe we could bring them in on loan, even though their wages are kind of high though. Now, Andre Gray is a player that I'm interested in to replace Vokes up top because he is more of a striker that I like using. 85, 86 sprint speed, 76 finishing. He's not that expensive either, only 4.7 to 5 million. Watford just got relegated, so I mean, it's not too unrealistic for him to leave to another championship team. His wages are also very low. Let me see how much Vokes is even worth, because if we sold Vokes, how, would, how much would he much money would he generate because if we got if we got gray i'd pretty much want campbell to be the backup striker so vokes would bring in only a million but i'm gonna add him to the transfer list to see what kind of offers we get for him and then i will think a little bit more about gray all right i think 16 million with that amount we definitely need another striker and i really like gray i think he'll be good for us so i think i'm gonna try and go in for him 4.7 million if we can get him for that cheap i think that's a pretty good deal all right so let's try exactly what the assistant manager said 4.7 5.2 that's not terrible that is definitely not terrible try 4.9 all right 4.9 for gray that is really not bad for a 75 rated striker who has very decent stats the only thing is that's like a fourth of our budget so do we spend a fourth of our budget on a 28 year old striker it's not sure I am not sure having this this low amount of money makes every transfer just have that much more weight. Mm, I think we're going to do it. Sam Vokes is not my type of striker and I want Campbell to be the backup. So so I think we're going to try to sell Vokes and then we are going to sign up Andre Gray. All right. So Andre Gray wants 6,000 per week, 46K signing bonus. He wanted a bonus, but I took it off. Probably going to be a little bit more on the wages. Yep. 8,000. But that is not bad andre gray is our new striker in the first signing of this series i think he will do pretty well for us up top so now we'll try to sell vokes this window so after that we definitely need some wingers now so vokes down to the reserves gray up top all right so since powell does not have much defending i think it makes more sense for us to play a 4-3-3 with a cam actually let's bring the wingers down a little bit I think this is a better formation for us because Powell is not going to do much defending with 48. So we have two box to box midfielders right up top. Team is looking better. Should I play Timon on the left at left back or should I play Ward? I mean, Ward's only 68. He's only one rating higher and he's 33. Box is 25. So I'm not sure what. Let's compare their stats. So Timon is quicker, but not by that much. Fox has better defending. I'm going to put Fox as a starter. Yeah, this is how our starting 11 currently looks. Not terrible. Definitely needs a lot more work, but I think there is something we can do with this squad this season. Also, we completed a goal by bringing in a crucial forward, so I wasn't even thinking about that, but we completed a league objective. That is always great. All right, so we definitely need some wingers. Some of these players have recently joined, so can't even sign them. But Jordan Ibe could be a good option, even though he would cost five to seven million. But once again, I'm going to need transfer suggestions. Players in that price range currently have 11.5 million. Man, getting promoted is going to be everything for us. That would increase our transfer budget by so much as we get an offer for Ngoy. But I don't think we should even try selling him. I mean, he's 21 overall is 65. Would is 790,000 even help us i don't even think it would so at the moment i'm not looking to sell him but the championship starts quick beginning of august we already have our first game against qpr so i think for this career mode because there's so many games in the championship usually i do three games per episode one to two if we're in a transfer window but i think for this series i'm gonna try to do maybe four to five games in an episode while simming some as well and then the highlights of those games will just be condensed more. So the highlights won't be as long, but there will be more games per episode. I think that will help us move along the season quicker and at a more enjoyable pace to watch. So I'm definitely going to try that this season at least because there's so many championship games. If we only did three games per episode, that would last forever. So I think that is the plan. Could change, who knows, but that is what I'm going with at the moment. But like I said, we're at the first game of the season against QPR at home. I don't think I'm going to make any more signings. I think Andre Gray is going to be the only signing that we do this episode. Definitely need your guys' feedback. I need your guys' suggestions for who to sign. So I think to end the episode, we are going to play QPR. 
and then that will leave the rest of the month for us to do any more business and for you guys to get your transfer suggestions in the comments but man like i said i have no idea what to expect from this season playing on ultimate with a low rated team versus a lot of other low rated teams the lower rated teams are usually the harder ones to beat and this division is just full of low rated teams so i have no idea how this is gonna go but we are gonna start the championship season off against qpr at home try and get a win in the first game of the season all right first game of the championship facing qpr no idea what to expect from this game or this season so we are gonna try and get a win in the first game as you can see in the top left i also have an efl championship scoreboard it's a pc mod the only bad thing is i think those colors i think that purple burgundy color for stoke i think that's just for every team doesn't actually change for the team colors but i mean better than the ea default one let's try and have a good start to the season allen into mclean gray wild touch from gray get it back to powell mclean gray could have easily got onto that they are coming forward this is not looking good for us actually chester makes a good challenge but not a good pass out the back Corner swung in, should be cleared easily. Ball crossed in, another clearance. Almost made a good tackle there. Probably shouldn't have left him. I think he just cleared that with his, with his head. The ball comes right back to him, and QPR score 15 minutes in. And that is a base mod issue there. But that is not a good start for us. That is not a good start. I cleared the ball there with his head. And he goes right back to him and he scores. What is that? All right. 1-0. Welcome to the Stoke career mode. This is going to be... I feel like this is going to be a challenge to even get promoted this season. But a challenge is what we want. All right. They are coming forward once again. That's a good challenge. I don't know what kind of team QPR is. Honestly, I don't watch the championship. So I don't really know which teams that we should be beating or should be losing against that was quite a chance i had a feeling that was offside yeah i don't really know where we generally should be in the table I mean, we finished 15th so we're not exactly a top 10 side that is what we're gonna try and change so allen can play it through to andre gray andre gray gets past one that's a good save a weak shot these players feel so slow compared to my southampton career mode that is for sure you can definitely tell the difference in quality ball crossed in wimmer clear it please clear it please he finally does is it vimmer or wimmer leave a comment or actually i'll probably find out for myself after this but don't know if it's vimmer or wimmer probably vimmer wimmer just sounds weird that is going to be a foul, though, on the edge of the box. That is that is weak. See what they try from this. Ball is crossed in. Oh, that just falls right to him. Ball just falls right into his lap, and he scores. Look at this. Ball is... I guess that was a good pass. My player got beat, I guess. It's not a good way to end the half. 2-0 down. Not a good game so far. We were playing decent. Our defense is looking quite shaky, though. And that is how the first half ends. All right, 2-0 down. Try and recuperate in the second half. UPR are definitely outplaying us in this game. This is very unfortunate. I wanted to have a good first game. This is not looking like a good first game at all. All right, ball over the top. McLean, show me what you're about. Ball into... That was a terrible first touch. Ball into Klukas, Gray making a decent run my players just feel so slow i don't know why even gray gray is pretty quick but he feels so slow at the moment i'm not quite sure why that was a good cut out i think it's just because everyone's so low rated trying to work this around to find something not having a lot of success as powell is so slow on the turn and just gets tackled all right so we need some pace and goy is going to come on for mclean 
Other than that, I think that's the only change I'm going to make so far. 70 minutes played, down to 2-0. This is not looking very good for us. But this was going to be a Road to Glory type of career mode. So this is what a Road to Glory entails. Starting out at the bottom, trying to claw our way to the top. Hints into Andre Gray. Playing it over the top. And Goy in to Andre Gray. Turns, going to get a shot. Andre Gray, and that is our first goal of the series. All right, 2-1. I think 10 minutes left. Can we rescue a point in this game? That was a good take from Andre Gray. All right, eight minutes. Trying to find this equalizer. Trying to rescue a point. Can that get into Andre Gray? Andre Gray falls, but I don't think... That was even close to being a penalty. All right, Bauer wins that very well. I need to make my final subs. But we are just going to kick the ball forward here. In to Powell. In to... Actually, that's Powell. I just keep getting Klukas and Powell mixed up. But he's tackled before he can get a shot, even though they throw the ball straight at Ngoy. This is not looking good. 90 minutes coming forward. Gets past one defender. Gets past another... Butlin with a good save. Get that to Andre Gray, though. And we go on a run, Powell. Please don't lose the ball. This is our last chance of the game, pretty much. Can't even play the ball forward. That is a 2-1 loss to QPR. Should have had a chance there. How, we, how does the ref blow his whistle when we're that far into their third? I mean, first game didn't look too bad. Almost made a comeback towards the end. But it is a defeat in our first game with Stoke City. All right, so a loss in our first game with Stoke City. But this is a very long season. Hopefully a competitive season for us. I am going to end the episode here so that you guys can get your transfer suggestions in. Hopefully we can make some more signings before our next games. But yeah, I'm excited for this career mode. Once again, a reminder, 11.5 million in our transfer budget. Vokes is currently on the transfer list. If you guys think we should sell anyone else, be sure to leave that in the comments as well. Pretty much with this team, everyone's fair game. I mean, except for like Joe Allen, um, maybe Campbell. Everyone else is fair game. If you guys think we should sell someone, definitely leave it in the comments. But if you guys are excited for this career mode, make sure to leave a like. I am excited to see what we can try and do with Stoke City. I think we're capable of reaching a playoff spot this season, but it is definitely going to be a tough task. Hopefully a few more signings will definitely take us to the next level, but with that budget, it's always going to be hard to make really truly impact signings. But that is going to be the end of this episode. Once again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. It helps me out a lot and I will catch you guys in the next video. I hope you all have a great day.